got the studio light on up in the Sci-Fi Express lane. About to switch it. Got my indicators on. About to switch into the Sci-Fi Express lane. Here we go. My name is Jeff Carroll. Welcome to my thoughts, my opinions, my my ideas, all of that good stuff. Um, today I want to talk about what people have been asking me about, and I really didn't want to talk about this, but I said, you know, um, find a way to have an opinion on everything. One of the people I don't like are people that don't have opinions. So I'm going to talk about this AI um, artwork thing that they got going on and um, kind of try to share my opinion of it. Um, but yeah, I don't like people that don't necessarily have opinions, especially the people with uh, things that they should have opinions on, right? And that is, um, you know, science fiction people talking about science fiction. And so AI, it's really not a good... What I didn't like about it is I've been, I guess since my first comic book as a writer, having to um, negotiate um, illustration rates with illustrators. And it's not always the best thing. And my first comic book is the highest I've paid for a page rate ever, right? I, I can't afford to even pay that now. Well, I was in the debt, $5,000, and probably still haven't recouped the money from those comic books. Um, it wasn't until... Uh, crowdfunding when I did a GoFundMe for my third movie and made the comic book part of the reward package did I recoup money that I made from some of the other books and then I decided to do and then when COVID hit I had already had 20 pages of, of comic book done and I decided to go to Kickstarter and that was the first time I made enough money to pay myself to write so um that is my bias, right? Um, sure, you can go into conventions and, you know, cover yourself by, you know, doing what retailers do, doubling your printing costs and selling comic books at the conventions. And that's cool, but, you know, when you're paying $250 for a table or $150, whatever it is now, you have to sell a lot of comic books to make $4 per comic book to cover that. You know, um, and I don't know if I've ever sold a hundred comic books at a convention. So it becomes really tight to be able to recoup um, that money and then, you know, recoup what you paid for it. So it's a long road to making your money back in a, as a comic book man. That said, the biggest cost for me as a writer is illustration. You know, um, printing costs are one thing, right? Um, and those those are kind of set and those go up and down too. And I tell people I got out of the comic book business when I did my first two comic books because of the printing costs. And I did two comic books and never printed the second one because I couldn't afford to print it. And then um, I got um, then I was able to print it with the GoFundMe. So yeah, it's been an up and down ride. So now this, um, what do you call it? But uh, well, then we had in between all that, we had internet, um, um, internet uh, um, uh, opportunities that provided opportunities for uh, writers like myself and creators to um, go international, right? To go international with. Um, their uh, who they use for illustrators and um, what do you call it so I did that and I got different page rates right and um, now I'm kind of in a, in a groove you know printing costs are going back up and um, convention rates are going back up so it becomes a little challenging but I have enough product that I can feel I can survive, right? 
and I'm also pitching to publishers to see if I can get one of these books picked up there. Now, all that has nothing to do with um, AI. However, where does AI come in? That's my world. AI offers an $8 membership in beyond level illustration quality, right? It goes straight from the mind of the creator to creation without a lot of in the middle stuff, you know? And um, I think that's a good thing. Now, it only does portraits and I've seen some action scenes, but I really haven't seen um, sequential. I have a feeling that might only be a, a, a short way away, right? Um, so I don't know about that. Um, I also think that the price, and I mean, there's two things. There's quality and the price. And illustrators are upset because the quality is probably better than some illustrators can offer. And it doesn't all look illustrated, right? It looks graphic design. So that is a level that people don't even pay for. And graph, you know, they don't even really get that. That's like movie posters. That That's the artwork level that movie posters do, you know, um, comic book people really don't do that. Comic book people do illustrations, uh, hand illustrations. And so now we have a term, like I said, I'm going to bill, when I go to my convention in January, I'm billing my prints as hand illustrated, you know, instead of AI, so they can understand that there's a value to that. And I think illustrators might want to do that. The other thing that it does, it puts a value around illustration. You know, just as illustrators can illustrate their own Spider-Man, now people can go and, and graphically design their own Spider-Man. I don't know if Marvel or DC has a, um, what do you call it, um, thing on there where you can't use um, characters, like, you know, licensed characters, but I know illustrators, if they couldn't draw licensed characters, many of them wouldn't be able to sell any prints because they don't really have, uh, what do you call it? Um, they don't really have uh, create ind independent created characters. They don't have original characters. Most of the stuff you see illustrators selling prints of are characters that um, are already existing. Now, if they illustrate a book with somebody, they may all have some characters, you know, and there's, there's a few real artistic um, illustrators that do come up with original characters, but 90, 99% of the dudes out here are selling other stuff. So I think that is alarming for them. Now for the pinup and the cover, I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting to see a AI cover. I would like to do some type of poster with one, but I don't know if I'd use it for the cover of a comic book. Um, magazines, they may use them, no doubt. But I don't know about a comic book. You know what I'm saying? Because comic books don't even use the covers. Designers that um, are already out here for for um, movie th movie posters and, and, and DVD covers. Those are some really cool illustration styles, but illustrators don't, I mean, um, comic book people don't use them. However, now the other thing comes in is, is the price, right? So illustrators love to you know, price themselves all the same, but the illustrations are not all the same. And while illustration is art and art is subjective, so is writing, we ain't gonna do that, but we know that, um, not we, we know, there's one thing that we learn, everybody's art doesn't sell the same. So if I use somebody for my cover and it doesn't sell, that's not only on me and the story, it's on the illustrator. So there's illustrators that I don't really use. I just say, you know, I like your sequentials. You know, we don't get into what I don't use them for. I need you for sequentials. And some illustrators will say, I don't really do covers. You know, well, you got sequential style and the, the, the energy for creating action on a page is different than it is for a cover, you know? cover artists love to um, say, you know, I'm a cover artist, 
and, and trying to say that you know they're better than um, what do you call it, it, it sequential artists. However, it's a different scale. I know some sequential artists that I use, you know, for my comic books that are stellar. They tell the story. The action is, you can hear the action come off the page. And um, some illustrators claim to illustrate sequential or they good illustrators and I don't feel anything when I look at the page, you know. Um, they follow, you know, I, I do sketches because I work with international artists. They don't always speak English. But um, the sketches, right, sometimes illustrators don't know how to interpret a sketch suggestion, you know. So I don't know. I mean, I, I would love to hear um, artists talk about this next year, you know, who survived. I think the illustrators that will survive are the illustrators that have a style of their own and charge a rate that is um, reasonable to, you know, what they, um, what the commercial value is, you know. Artistic value is one thing. What's the commercial value? How many books will your illustrations sell? How many books does your illustrations sell for you, you know? At $100 a page, that's $2,500 a book, 2,020 pages, right? Plus printing, plus a cover, right? So you're up to 25, 28 with printing, right? So now you want to ask, can your book get a $3,000 Kickstarter and save money even for uh, postage and shipping? It's a lot of Kickstarters that be under 1000 you know, and illustrators will still be trying to charge $100 a page, you know. Um, so it's a team effort, definitely. You know, the writing and the promotion part of it is big, but illustrators cannot, you know, absorb 90% of the budget and 0% of the blame when the pro pro project doesn't reach its goal. So I think there's a commercial value to uh, illustrators that AI is going to make them have to deal with. Um, I love my American artists. I use them. You know what I'm saying? I don't use everybody. I don't use everybody internationally. You know, so it is what it is. But, um, you know, I don't know any illustrators that hire writers. So how about that? You know, I'm not, I'm, I use illustrators. Of course, you have to. Now that is important. I'm wondering what AI will do. Once AI hits sequential, it's going to be questions. And then you got to wonder, is what's the commercial value of that? Who's put the AI cover on their comic book? Or let's see, the AI design the interiors. Let's see what that um, comic book sells. I mean, it's good for posters. It's good for pinups. But I think we're worried about something that really isn't that major deal. However, the most expensive illustrators are the ones that do covers. They can range from two to eight hundred dollars. Um, book cover designers are even more. I think that's going to hit book cover designs because for a book, I definitely see AI covers selling. And so, um, book cover designers panic button. Comic book cover designers, not yet. But book cover designers, it's a wrap, son. DVD cover designers, it's a wrap. You know, you only the real creative are going to survive. Basic dudes, no, nah, it's a wrap. So um, AI got you, you know, competing you for for um, book covers, DVD covers, and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. Maybe video game color covers too. I don't know. Anyway. Um, uh, I think the best thing for AI, for comic books, is for writers to character, character design. And I've got a couple of things that I'm going to use AI for. But that's it. All right, y'all. Deuces. Uh, like, subscribe, share. I'm out of here. I'm not AI. I'm real intelligence. <laughs>